Hello, I'm Nick Pryke and you're watching Meet The Boss TV. In this episode, we delve ever deeper into the world of data center compliance and find out why taking it seriously means far more than ticking a box. The world of the data center is evolving as quickly as the face of enterprise IT. Pace and flexibility of services clearly has a huge role to play, but so too has security and compliance. I caught up with John Murphin, Director of Internal Audit at Data Center Specialist QTS, to find out more and started with how she's seen the landscape shift over the last couple of years. So what you're seeing uh, becoming much more prevalent within um, all the industries uh, is that companies are taking security and compliance and they're putting it as the top priority. Where I think in previous years that it was probably, you know, priority five or six, it was down lower on the totem pole, but now it's at the forefront. Uh, because it is so critical to any organization, and not only for their own organization, but also for any of their vendors or their customers. And it's really learning how to make sure that they are appropriately managing that entire infrastructure of their security and compliance. So what you see is companies really taking a, an overall priority approach on governance and really seeing that tone at the top of management directing their entire organization on how to make sure that all of the information and hierarchical management of control structures are in place and that all the critical control activities are operating effectively. And then second, you see um, enterprise risk management programs being effectively put in place in organizations. This is something where previously companies did a one and done approach of risk management. They, you know, analyzed their risk management on their financial statements, but they didn't take it across the board in their entire organization. And so what occurred is now that you're seeing a lot of organizations, they're actually creating risk management departments in their organization. And then lastly, organizations are looking at their overall compliance re requirements. They're determining what compliance requirements Am I re absolutely required to have in place? And then what compliance requirements should I have in place that are, are go above and beyond so that I can make sure that I have a, a very high level and mature compliance posture? To what degree do you feel that data center compliance has become more of a priority within the overall missions you know, of IT heads uh, and within those roadmaps that they're looking at two, three years down the line? So I think, What's critical here is that for data center companies, they understand that they have to not only ensure the physical environment, they have to ensure the logical environment for their customers. And so what's critical for data centers is they have to make sure to create a physical and logical environment and provide this environment that is meeting the high standards of of security and compliance requirements and are providing that to customers. And so what you're seeing is that data centers are making sure to evaluate their compliance requirements to ensure that all of those critical requirements are in place. A perfect example of that would be is the service organization control reports uh, for trust service principles for security, confidentiality, and availability is a new um, trust service principles that came out approximately two years ago, and that has become a very prevalent uh, compliance requirement that data centers have put in place because it encompasses everything in the perspective of a customer, ensuring that the customer's data is physically secure and safe, ensuring that the customer's availability uh, of their data and equipment is safe and secure, ensuring that their confidentiality of customers' data, whether it's PHI, PII, whatever it may be, is maintained and kept secure and safe. And so really what you see is a focus of data centers, not only do they focus on their own internal security, but they're much they're putting a much higher focus on ensuring that all of their customers' data and equipment is safe and secure, and then making sure that they have third-party um, independent attestation uh, reports that validate those control requirements. But validation in today's context means a lot more than looking at compliance within the four walls of your industry. Today, it's about leveraging that holistic approach to gain a strategic advantage. Easier said than done, I asked Jana for her take on that shift in perspective. Well, I think what previously uh, we, you saw in the industry was more of a siloed approach. And I think now it is transitioned over to an integrated holistic approach. So 
for uh, any customer looking at a, at a data center should see that they have an integrated control framework, that they have taken the approach of evaluating all the compliance requirements and aligning them to one master control set of framework. So what you should see is a, an organization has evaluated SOC 1, SOC 2 requirements, PCI, DSS, HIPAA, FedRAMP, FISMA, all of those compliance requirements into one because many of those requirements, they do cross over. Some uh, requirements are more prescriptive than others. So for example, one control could cover five compliance requirements. And really that enables and shows a customer that a data center is very uh, high functioning and understands those compliance requirements. And also it's efficient both from an internal and external perspective. And then additionally for their external auditors to come in and audit, it's much more cost efficient. And then that can also be passed on to the customer as well. So how do businesses ensure that compliance piece of the puzzle to create that team and create that strategic partnership with those third parties to work together and ensure operational efficiency? Well, I think that there's two perspectives. I think you have the customer perspective for a data center company who has a customer, and then they also have third-party vendors. Um, I'll touch upon uh, third-party vendors first. Looking at that, uh, data centers should have a vendor management program in place. And what that entails is that they provide and ensure, and they do research and background checks um, on party vendors that a data center is hiring to ensure that they are meeting the appropriate compliance requirements uh, and that they have all the appropriate background checks. Additionally, that this should not just be a one-time and done uh, type of approach. It should be a continuous monitoring and at a minimum an annual review of any of your third parties. And then lastly, in the contract with that third party, it should clearly, very clearly state the responsibilities of the data center provider and the third party vendor and clearly state what responsibilities and control requirements are um, the sole responsibility of each party and then those that are shared. Now on a customer perspective and looking at controls and compliance requirements of working together, the key critical aspect there is that the data center provider is providing an environment that meets the compliance standards. Now additionally, the customer is responsible for maintaining and, in, and implementing their own compliance requirements based on whatever applicable standard it is. And lastly, it needs to make the, a data center provider needs to make sure in the contract that they clearly lay out what are the customer responsibilities, what are the data center responsibilities, and what are shared responsibilities related to control and compliance requirements. Uh, and there again, uh, there's that continuous monitoring and reporting aspect as well. So it's really a collaboration effort you know, between that data center provider and customer to ensure that all aspects of those compliance requirements are met. And it's collaboration here that's really the key. Ensuring that seamless partnership with those third parties is essential to staying ahead of the game. So what advice does Jana have for businesses looking to do just that? So I think that one of the main critical things is that customers should make sure to get a list of questions that they should ask their data center provider. And one of those first questions that I would recommend that they ask is, what you know, current compliance requirements do you have in place? How do you, can, you know, perform internal and external monitoring of those compliance requirements? And then what documentation do you add to provide to a customer to in independently validate that those are operating in, in place? And subsequent to those questions, a, a customer should uh, you know, do their proper research and education on what are the current compliance standards. And then they should also ask questions on how do they manage um, their contingency plans, their business continuity and disaster recovery, their incident response. Those are key critical questions that are becoming much more prevalent in today's world uh, due to you know, uh, third party attacks, due to natural disasters. Because what happens is if a customer is in a data center, no matter if there's a hurricane, uh, a tornado, anything like that that were to occur, that data center has still the responsibility to be up and running and to provide those services to those customers. So that's definitely critical for a customer to evaluate uh, when evaluating a, a, a data center organization. What seems to be some of the more common drivers for businesses to start considering their compliance 
at that higher level? I mean, is it operational efficiency, risk aversion? Is it just pure regulation? What are some of the more common drivers that, that you're seeing? I think it's uh, probably, I would say, a, a three-pronged approach. I think one um, is external both by industry and customer uh, are, are dr definitely a driving factor because the industry and the customers really drive uh, what they are requiring as it relates to compliance and security. And so that really definitely, I think, is a key critical factor for organizations to make sure that security and compliance is at the forefront of their organization. Uh, second, I would say from an internal perspective, would be um, operational efficiency and ensuring that you're providing the best you know, environments for your customers and really looking at it from an internal perspective of does an a data center organization have all the proper procedures, uh, policies, and plans in place to adhere and provide these proper and uh, secure environments to customers. And then lastly, I think risk management. I think that you know, from a risk management, enterprise risk management perspective is that, um, you know, from the boards and, and executive management team, they have seen uh, very clearly uh, through recent news is that security and compliance is critical for any company's success. And if you don't take it seriously and don't have it as a priority, it will definitely impact your business uh, negatively. So I think that that has become a tone at the top message for you know, key companies to clearly succeed uh, in the data center industry to make sure that that is a top priority. What's exciting you most as it starts to move off the horizon? What do you see the future holding when we're talking around the compliance point within, within the world of data centers here? I think that what I think is most exciting is I, I see a lot more maturity in the compliance standards. Uh, I think that um, the organizing bodies are very much, uh, I think, catching up with what's really currently occurring within data center organizations. And I think it's exciting to see how the compliance requirements are now trending and changing to meet what is occurring in the, in the industry and what's occurring in today's uh, business organizations. And making sure that now, the exciting part is making sure that all those new compliance standards are appropriately working and in place for you know, customers uh, to come in and you know, enter in the data center space. And so I think that that will be very interesting to see how that continues to change and modify in the coming years. For more fantastic interviews directly related to your business, be sure to explore Meet the Boss TV.